hey guys aaron here welcome back to another episode of lover of all things good so today we are going to get some great amazing mexican food and we're going to go down to anaheim and check out a really cool restaurant located in the anaheim packing house and that is urbana so thankfully to my friend maurice i was introduced to the owners and had an opportunity to come down and check out this wonderful place and look the food was so good it definitely is a place that'll keep me coming back for more and more and more so i'm going to take you through what we ordered um, the cocktails as well as the food and then also what we have for dessert show you a little bit around the restaurant and the packing house and hopefully you guys can check it out too it's a great option and some place that i definitely will come back next time i'm in anaheim You can see the passion for food that the owners have, as well as the high quality fresh ingredients that they put into the food and also the cocktails. This place will not disappoint. The mixology at Urbana is really next level, very well done. For beverages, we had some really delicious drinks. Cruci Grama, which is a floral fragrance sour. I also ordered a couple of margaritas. So I had the plus margarita, which is great had blanco tequila fresh lime some cane sugar it was quite strong and definitely hit that spot also i had the spicy margarita and the sex panther a delicious combination of sweet with just enough kick i recommend it don't know what was in it but it definitely did the trick so it's time to order so we ordered the elote which is the mexican street corn hopefully i didn't butcher that up but really good it has some nice citrus aioli and also sprinkled with some spice powder and also some cotija. The ahi ceviche tartar. So it is a seasoned sesame fresh ahi. Enchilada suizas, which are filled with sauteed garlic butter shrimp, topped with some salsa verde. We also ordered an assortment of tacos, which were delicious. The arachada steak, the baja fish, the al pastor, as well as the pork bellies. So some great options, and I think you'll enjoy them all. I just got so full, I couldn't eat anymore. So I, if I could, I would. <laughs> and to sum it all up, we had a great delicious dessert, some warm and sweet bread pudding, which I definitely recommend. Well done, and the presentation was absolutely beautiful. So the decor was really cool, um, well utilized space, with some nice pops of color, as well as some really vivid large murals, um, really celebrating some of the Mexican culture. So the restaurant has a very nice open flow, really anchored and centered around the bar, very vivid pops of color, as well as some celebrations of Mexican culture and some large murals. The bar is very nicely equipped with a large assortment of mezcal, as well as tequila. Please check this place out. It's a great option. And please tune in next time. Thanks so much for watching.